Hey everyone, this is Ben. And Nora. Welcome back to the Midwest Model Shop. In the last episode, you saw me start to apply putty into those little spaces along the bat wings, and that clearly was not enough. So in this episode, you're gonna see the process of me adding more putty and buffing it down and adding more putty and getting some primer on and going back to airbrushing school. Is that what it's called? Yep. <laughs> airbrushing 101, I go back again. Yep. I failed the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I go back again for a little little tutelage and uh, I actually get the first coat of black on the Batmobile. Yes, and it looks awesome. And so you guys will get to see all of that. She did a really good job. This is her first time doing body work, like for real, filling in an actual incredibly difficult concave seam that bends the other way. Like those of you who've done this model before know that that's a real rough spot. So And I'm doing it all myself. And she's doing it all herself. All right, uh, let's get into the build. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so we're back in action. What What's going on here? Okay, so... We have the Batman mug. <laughs> we have a baby monitor. We have a ship. <laughs> and then we have the Batmobile. It's a mess. Okay, I taped this little area off here so I wouldn't get that filler in there. Um, okay. So I masked that off. And I'm on my, I don't know, layer 10,000, I don't even know, of filling it with the putty and then cleaning it off, cleaning off the excess. I don't want it to sit too long and have a big mess. I'm also buffing and smoothing all these little boogery areas that were just icky and had little bumps and imperfections. I'm trying to smooth it all out because I want it to look like glass. Awesome. All right, so Nora's gonna keep doing this and then we'll get some more primer on it uh, to check her work at a certain point here when she feels like it's pretty smooth and just rinse and repeat right yes oh and somebody commented about using the q-tips to clean off the excess mm -hmm. thank you all right pressing on all righty babe what's happening over here uh okay so i filled in more putty back here on my fins because they're just still a hot mess with their big gaps and grooves and whatnot and while that's drying i'm going around and looking for all these little areas where there's like boogers or flashing that's still like and seriously, I'm working under my Ben Q lamp. I don't know what I would do without this. So it actually works. It's, it's you know what it really is awesome because as bright as it is in our work area, this is bringing the light down here for me. This this video is not sponsored by Ben no, Q. By the way, no, it's actually not. But I got the lamp in my workspace. Um, like this little these little spots right here, I never would have seen these. They're as tiny as they were. You know, I buffed them all down. And can I move this? Yep. Okay. There and there, and then I found some little glue boogers over here that I'm getting rid of with my fancy little skinny, teeny tiny nail files, because that's all they are, nail files and buffing sticks. Um, and yeah, because I want it to be super smooth, I want to be able to like check my lipstick mm -hmm. in the finish. <laughs> all right, we'll let you get back to it then. Okay. Are you kidding me? This is the sound of rage. What's going on? What's happening? Um, well, it's like my 10,000th layer of putty. That's and, not true. It's and like the buffing, third. Buffing and filling and right, buffing here, and filling. Hold it for filling. a second. Let's see. Lotioning and oiling, oiling, lotioning. Yeah. So, describe what you're seeing here. So, what have you learned? <laughs> I've learned that this sucks. Um, I look at it and it's hard to tell. I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, I got it. And then we prime it and I can still see a mess. And part of it is just experience. Like I was using this and then I started using this with water. Um, I think what's really, cause I've done other stuff on the car and it turned out great and I was able to buff it out and it's all shiny and good looking. What's really causing me fits is the curves. It's the curves. It's really hard to work in there without taking away too much, adding too much, and it's just it's just a process. Yep, and I think, honestly, you're really close. Uh, this camera, again, is terrible at zooming. Hold that right there. So we got a little bit of a seam you could sort of see there, and then go over this side. This is actually a lot better. Hang on, we got our little grandbaby making, having a fit. But this is, I think it's really close. I think we get a couple more coats of paint on there, a little buff, yeah. and uh, I think it'll be okay. Yeah. I Here's the baby. Get to her and 
Evie. Okay. Oh, okay. there's the grandbaby she having a fit. doesn't want to hear anything about no Batmobile. Nope. <laughs> Alright, pressing on. Alright. Still at it. Coming in here. What we got? Yep, coming tight. So, I'm not happy with this. I'm going to keep working on it. I got a little, I feel like there's a little spot right here that needs work, a little right there. I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep going with the, with the buffing and the polishing and the lotioning and oiling and until it's shiny and smooth. Okay. I mean, this is legit it's like, close. yeah, it's and close. this is your first, this is legit, your first car ever. Never had one lesson. Yeah, and this is hard, and this is body work. And real life body work is hard and painstaking like this too, and I think it looks really good right now. I think you, I would buff it out a little bit more, and I would just press on and paint it, but, you know, you're going to get it exact, so you're happy with it. You come down and take footage while I'm in my pajamas, buffing yep. away. Yep, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Got pay extra for that, fellas. <laughs> Alright, pressing on. Okay. After many coats of putty, where is that stuff? It's here somewhere. Oh. This has been my best friend for the last week or so. Um putty and buffing and more putty and more buffing. I feel like I did it 10,000 times. I think I might be ready for some black paint. I'm concerned there was um, a little, I don't know what else to call it other than like a little pit. I think it was on this side. Um, and Ben told me to you know, work it out best I could with my little sticks. So I did that and then with some spray paint it kind of filled in and then I worked away the paint around it. I'm afraid that if I try to improve what's here anymore that I'll start removing more putty and creating more divots and valleys and all that good stuff. So he's out of town. He's working, and I'm not going to take a crack at this until he gets back, but I think it's ready for some black paint, and I'm super excited about that. We'll see how it looks. Okay, we're back in action. We've got to the point where we're going to start applying our black paint. Nora's had a crash course tutorial in airbrushing again, and we're starting off by getting the bottom detail. There was again. A, again, there was a disaster in the kitchen just a few minutes ago causing additional unnecessary stress. Yep. Which is causing us to expedite our paint. So this is a lesson, potentially, gentlemen, in what can happen if almost you have a kitchen a, disaster, a kitchen disaster. An and disaster. then you come and paint immediately after that. There are no disasters you, in my kitchen. You don't know what may or may not happen. So what she's gonna do right now is get this paint on the bottom set up then we'll flip it over and get it mounted in our little cradle dealy so that uh, she can paint the body so let's let's come back when we're there I have no idea what I'm doing yep okay here we are uh, I provided the instruction that I can provide after an obscene amount I think is an obscene amount of body work first coat yeah um, there's definitely not enough paint left in the paint airbrush, I don't think. But we're just going to go here and get it on. And I've talked to Nora about not going back and forth like that. Should I do Stop. And it doesn't matter what Should I say. I? No, it doesn't. Is that enough? Should I do more? Yeah, I think that's like enough. Really like yeah, do like that. We're gonna run so out. let's hang on a second here so people can see. It's a semi-gloss paint. We want to get the paint applied. And then we'll we'll it'll start adhering. So it's okay, you can still see. That's fine, and okay. we'll come back with more paint for like a second coat. So 
So when you start painting something like this, uh, gloss coats are really hard. Um, I'm sure all the auto body guys will comment, but what I do is I like to start off with a nice light coat just to establish the paint and get it started to stick. And then we'll come back and do a subsequent layer after this one has set up a little bit and start building up the layers and getting the coverage that we want and the finish that we want. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, I think I'm running out. Oh yeah, you're totally running out of paint. All right, time to reload the airbrush. More paint. Fun. Okay, the airbrush is loaded back up. The compressor's running. The uh, exhaust fan's running. The ham is my, now my due. The oven just went off. The oven went off. <laughs> Uh, the timing is perfect Our for everything. Heads are falling off. I'm just trying to keep it moving and get a little bit of paint everywhere. You can get a little closer, so we're not. I don't want to. I'm scared. Well. You don't want to dust it, you want to actually paint it. Because it's supposed to be semi-gloss. Don't touch the tail in the back of the... No, I got it. Okay. We're going to keep going. We'll come back when it's black. How's that? Mm, they might miss something good. Yeah. You're like, I doubt it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We're getting to the awesome point here where we're getting the thicker coat on and it's starting to look amazing. After yet another painting lesson. Yep. Lessons. We like lessons. Awesome. All right, we'll come back and show you the results of this initial coat. We're gonna we have to do more than this. It's just getting our just getting it going here. What do you say? Okay, so this is after the initial first coat of black. And I won't move it. Do you want me to move it? Yeah, you can turn it. <laughs> well, so. obviously there's this big booger on the hood that I'm pretty upset about because it's really glaring. So that's gonna need some wet sanding. I picked up some stuff to do wet sanding. And then right before you turn the camera on, I found a drip, a couple. So that's gonna require some wet sanding, but check out that rump. Look at that. There's our furnace. Her body right work. Right on cue. <laughs> yeah, her body work is killer. There's, I mean, you, where's the scene? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> As, how many times have you done that? How many times? What? Uh, a, a gajillion. Yeah. You're a super experienced <laughs> bodywork person? Um, yeah. So I, I can see how I, I can obsess over this for a really long time and trying to make it smooth. But I'm excited about the wet sanding. We picked this up. Can I show it? Yeah. We picked this up today. There's, I don't know how many different grits. Oh, here they are. Got it at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so this is a semi-gloss finish. It's not glossy, it's not flat. We gotta smooth all these imperfections out. We'll worry about that later. I did a little bit on the bottom too, trying to... Yep. That red was really something to cover, but my my painting skills, I think, are improving. Um, but I think overall it's gonna look really good, but... Yeah. Let's, let's take another look at it here under some cool light. I think wet sanding is gonna make all the difference. Um, I can see how people obsess over these things. I could probably spend another year perfecting the body, trying to perfect the body, but it'll get there and uh, hopefully I can get the finish that I'm trying to achieve. And then doing the other shades of black that the kit calls for and assembling everything and just getting it done. But I'm excited now that it's black. Michael Keaton would be proud. So as challenging as the body work has been, I've enjoyed um, trying to perfect this, this right, this business back here was really something. I look forward to my next project not having concave <laughs> areas that need that much body work, but I, again, sort of know what I'm doing now. So I'm already looking forward to the next project. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll probably be sharing it again. Until then, um, 
I'll just keep working on my Batmobile and I look forward to finishing it and sharing the finish with you. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Ben. And Nora. Welcome back to the Midwest Model Shop. Some more on the Batmobile build. Um, what did I do in this one? Just more body work, lots of putty, and lots of sanding, and more putty, and more sanding, and my first coat of black. <laughs> I think it's coming along good. I mean, you say that the body works good. Are you kidding me? This is the sound of rage. What's going on? What's happening?